Hey guys, it's Wolf and we're back in Timberborn with our beavers. And when we left off last time, we had started planting some sunflowers and getting our farms in order up here. We had started work on a mega reservoir up here, kind of. It's a reservoir. We'll get there. We were working on that. And then I had floated a question about mods. And we have downloaded a few. I'll go over them. One of them is District Extender, just because I don't like having multiple districts. I just don't like the way the whole, like, I just don't like districts. So, our district is now double the size. We're able to double the size of the district. Which won't give us the entire map, but it'll make it... It'll give us a pretty big area to work with in this district, and if I have to make another one, so be it. We also have, if I come down here, and I can find it uh yeah so we have all of the buildings unlocked because we have every type of um both factions of beavers unlocked so we have the deep water pumps the normal water pumps the water dumps all of the mechanical pumps all forms of power which means we can get a windmill which will be nice um, same with the science, same with well-being, you know. Um, if they were a part of the folk tales, then the same is... Why is there water coming through right there? I don't know. But we still had 10 days left in this drought, so let's kind of power through. I think this was the 17-day drought that we left out on. Yeah, that's a long drought. And it's only like halfway through the biggest one we'll probably do. But we're doing well. We have three beavers that are out sleeping on their lonesome though, so I would like to get probably that one done first, and then they'll build the rest of these eventually. But we'll get that high priority. They're gonna keep working on this whole project up here. Um, yeah, and eventually all this will be built, which will be nice. There's no need for that one. There's not even really a need for these two there. Should have just built a straight wall. But that is what it is. We're going to work on getting some other things going on. Because now we have the packing plant. Which gives us different types of food. I don't know why there's two of them. That's weird. Um, however, they require treated planks. So we're going to have to get our infrastructure moving pretty heavily if we want any form of treats and snacks for our beavers. Also, I think I downloaded one that gave them more options in the bakery, so... Uh, nope, still just the three. Now, we have the... One thing I have not been thinking about is... Uh, we have three unemployed beavers. We have water all up here, and we're not utilizing it to grow anything. And that water really doesn't run out because I have this pump right here that I'll turn on if we need it. So we could be doing like grilled spatter dock right now. So we're gonna work on that. Yeah, we're gonna do an aquatic farmhouse. Yes. And we'll put it back here. Because now I'm not too worried about. No, oh, that's the wrong button. I'm not too worried about things like. Where am I gonna connect it to? Because it doesn't really matter. It's all connected. And then I can just throw a staircase into the And we'll prioritize both of those. That will be good. We also have our big storage area over here. Which is nice. I'm going to... Next to this guy. We're going to throw in some storage for Spatterdock too. Uh, where's our storage? Storage, storage, storage? Small industrial. I like these little small piles because you can just kind of throw them down like that next to the resource that you want. So you do this, then you do another bakery, or another grill. That's right, I didn't do a bakery. I did. You do another one of those right there, and then we'll do some more storage next to it. And we'll put the grilled spatter dock right here. And this will become just the aquatic farming area. Once all that gets built. I know, there's a lot of things going on right now. And we're going to go with the same joke that uh, nothing's a priority if everything's a priority. So uh, this is just going to be high priority for a little bit. 
But I would like to start working on power. So we need power. The only two reliable sources of power for us are going to be wind and normal... Um, I can't think of the word right now. Uh, the, 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 the English is escaping me. Also, our trees are drying out, but they will die in 10 days, and we have seven, so it's fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna need to get this, the ruins over here. Sorry, I, I get distracted very easily. Hey, okay, so we'll do this, do this, we'll path over to the ruins. And we'll throw down a metal, 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 metal scavenger fat. Yep, right here. We'll put him right there, and he'll be able to scavenge all that once this stuff gets built. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> I apologize if my voice is a little shot right now. Feeling slightly under the weather. But I really wanted to play beavers. So here we are. Nope, oh, some of our potatoes are drying out. That's not good. That's fine, though. We can lose, like, a third of the crop of potatoes. We have some up here, too. We will unpause this water dump. So we can get a bunch of stuff going on here. I guess we really need... There's so many piles of planks and logs just about that need to be picked up. Oh, and they're all high priority, aren't they? They just haven't been picked up. Nice. What's the point of recycling if you're not going to recycle my beavers? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I think that's all the mods I downloaded. I didn't download anything game-breaking, you know? No creative mode, nothing like that. Just... Just stuff to make it a little bit more interesting, give us a little bit more variety. I already went over having, like, the archway. Um, I'd really like to do the archway right here, to be honest. That'd be nice. If I could dynamite all this down one. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go plant. No, not cat tubes. Spatter duck. And he can plant the entirety of this area with spatter duck, so we're gonna go... Just the entirety of this area is better. There you go. And we high prioritize. Nope, nope, not there. Yep, there we go. We'll prioritize that grill right there and we'll get some uh, grilled spatter dock going. Look at him go. But we're gonna need this water dump going. That way we don't run out of water over here in the next few days. Only five days left with the water dump going. We should be fine. Our water is more than okay. We only need yeah, 1.1k. We need gears. I think the gear shop is paused right now. Unpause it and that'll give us a few more gears at least. Um, yeah, that's fine. Everything is fine. It's all fine. Everything is fine. Look at all those berries. Oh, I forgot. I have mirrored buildings now. So you know what we can do? Hold on. We're gonna, just for looks sake, we're going to take our farmhouse here and flip it. That way it looks the exact same. No, high priority, high priority. That'll get built in a second. <clears throat> Their main job is the... Well, I guess with the upgrade that I did, they can... My farmers can really just do pretty much everything from one farm area. That's actually really nice. I don't have to put them right next to the fields now. We do have a lot of carrots and blueberries, though. That is a lot. A lot, 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 lot. Grilled spatter dock. Okay. We have grilled spatter dock going. We've got our spatter dock that we needs to grow for 12 days. Uh, we have four days left in the drought. Um, our water pumps are going. Oh, we had this got built, so that'll get filled soon. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Nobody's sleeping outside. 
for now. We have 47 beavers and 7 children. We started with like 17. That's wild. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at all that spatter dock. What else we can also do over here for power? Because now we get the large water wheel. But I don't think I can put that really over here. It'll be nice for later, but for now we'll do another compact water wheel. And we'll put it right here. Let's go over here. We'll, we're going to figure all this out in a second. Hold on. Oh god, demolish built there. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now from here, we're gonna Oh, I, I made a small oopsie. That's fine. Oh, they'll remove those pretty quickly. I'm sure they have access to them now. I'm not worried about that. We're going to build another two power wheels once these get removed. Just so when the water starts flowing, we have a increase in power. Where is power, power, power? Bloop. Bloop. There we go. Okay. Those are not really expensive. They're 25 logs each. As we get done with that, we can also see that the first level of this dam is almost done. Um, what I am going to do here, make those high priority. I get, oh, if I high priority one, it's going to high priority all the ones above it. That's a nuisance. But at least if we get these three built, um, they'll start working on this side. So that's nice, at least. For now. Grilled spatter dock. We've got our big storage area coming. We have our, that's our hauling post. Oh yeah, I'm building a second hauling post so we can do this again. <clears throat> Which was a great suggestion. Thank you for suggesting that I just, you know, make that an ultra low priority job. And then whenever I have new beavers, they just automatically go there unless there's jobs that exist like this. All of our farming will always be high priority. All of our water filtering will always be high priority. We're almost full of water again. We are making it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I think we'll survive a 30 day drought, no problem. We might run into some issues if we have a 30 day drought followed by a short water season and another 30 day drought. I think we'll be good. I think we're setting up for success here. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's normal priority, y'all. Please work on the first layer of everything else, my guys. Work on what you can see. Because I would like to get the first layer done so we can at least flood back here. And have some more water. About the only thing that I see the issue with now is evaporation. Which is... Bit of a pain in the ass, but eh, water evaporates. What are you gonna do? Pretty much, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. How's our water looking at over here? We are at 1.64, so we're we've dropped like one block. That's not bad because it's about to be the wet season. That's pretty good. I like that. Also. I was thinking, now that I have the extended districts and stuff, and I'm not super worried about... I'm just kind of throw paths around. I kind of want to do some well-being stuff over here. I was going to do... Where, where is it? Lido. Would a Lido fit in here? It would if I TNT right here. So we're going to need some TNT and some other stuff. But I would like for my beavers to be able to enjoy. Just, you know, have fun. And be able to enjoy their time off. So we're going to go to the Lido. At least for the wet season over here. And the drought has ended. 
So you're about to see a whole bunch of water coming through. Um, I should probably lower those to 1.5. That way the water doesn't overflow completely. And we will see y'all at the beginning of the drone. Alright guys, we're back and we have a 19 day drought. So, that, uh, not really ideal, but only so much we can do about it. We're gonna push through this drought and see what happens. We did finish a second water tank during the wet season and we had a full wet season. We overflowed all of our reservoirs, which is perfect. That's what we were hoping for, and that's what we got. The only thing I can see that I would want to do a little bit more of, maybe, is bring this reservoir up one more block so it's even with this river. And just kind of make it that big. That would actually be a pretty nice idea. Just to bring it up one more block and make it kind of even with what we got going on over here. There's no way I can't do that, to be realistic. If we just come over here and you know, get rid of not the dam, the road on top of the dam. There we go. And we just do the same thing we've been doing, just some of these on top. <coughs> just like that. And that'll give us a nice another area of water. Just kind of put away in case we need it. We are going to have to build some platforms on the inside just to walk around it, but that's not a big deal either. Get some platforming. Some more pathing. And then some more platforming. That's done. Okay. And we just put all of our pathing in for it. And that will give us the opportunity to build a much bigger area. And then we'll drain this reservoir and throw another layer of dams under it, or levees, and raise those floodgates up by one. And that'll give us a nice big pool right here to go with our pool up here that we've almost made. 
19 days, I think they will have done at least the first layer of these. Which means they won't have a choice but to start building up and then one at a time all the way around. So that should be nice. That should be real nice to see done. All of our storage over here. I realized I put down industrial piles instead of normal. Oh, I never noticed they do the little signs on it. Grilled spatter dock and normal spatter dock. I still don't know what spatter dock is, but you know. Um, we are actually running out of storage space for our spatter dock. Because we are making too much. Oh well. No such thing as too much food and too much water in this game. 20 days is still, or 19 days, it's almost 20 days, almost 20 days. You know, if you had one more day to it, it'd be 20 days. And we've got metal coming in, okay. That's what we have been waiting for. Now we have metal coming in, we need to work on power. Which means I would like some windmills. For the most part, windmills are going to be our, our go-to here in the beginning. Just in the beginning, we're just gonna do some windmills and connect everything. Just like that. We're all within building radius, so I'm not too worried. I'm not super worried about it. But we are gonna go to the metal. So I'm gonna need a smelter. And we're gonna put that bad boy right here. Just like that, and we will run a power out the back, right here, and straight, okay, there we go. Now the power needs to get built before this guy does. I'll take either one, but power before him. And we're going to have a few, jolly, yeah, we're going to have some, oh, it says we have a homeless beaver again. You know what that means, we got a high priority house. Maybe we won't finish this, this season. Well, let's, let's do medium priorities, actually. We'll do normal priority for you. And then medium priority for all of you. And then if I come over here and I just do... We'll just do high priority on all of these. We already know that it's going to be that, but I can do this, right? Yes, I can. Okay. If I just go through, I can do that. There we go. That means they'll get the first layer done first. Okay, first layer, smelter. We've got this figured out. We're going to get all this done. That's our priority of building things. We still have 13 days left in this drought. We're doing pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Already four, five and a half days in. And, you know, all we're doing is making spatter dock. I know this isn't the prettiest configuration of things. But it'll get figured out eventually. You know what? Some gravity batteries hanging off the back? I don't know. It'll probably end up getting replaced. I want to move the industrial district over here, actually. But for now, actually, have they even started building anything really? We might as well put the industrial district where we want it to go. That way I don't have to move it. Later. We'll get all those resources back. For now, we're going to do the same thing. Power some windmills over here. We're going to just kind of throw them on the edge of things. Just like that. Just like before, we're just gonna run power through all of them. 
power through all of them. There we go. Now we have one big central grid. And now we're going to do our smelter. Right here. Just like before. Actually, I'm going to do a smelter. Do I want it sideways like this? Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that. We'll run the road to it. And we'll run the power to it. Perfect. So now we just go straight in. There you go. And all of that should be within the building. Yep. Upgrading the size of the district was probably the best thing I could have done. So this is all medium priority. That's all medium priority. <clears throat> Everything up here is a high priority. It's perfectly fine. No storage space available. Build more storage. Is it because I don't have plank storage? Oh yeah, because we didn't finish our... Okay. This is also going to be medium priority now. Uh, our spatter dock is full. Okay, more food storage. A medium warehouse. Medium warehouse. Where am I going to put the medium warehouse for the spider dock? Hmm. I could put it right here. And that'll be more food. So we'll put some more spider dock in there because we are definitely outpacing our spider dock production. We're also outpacing our grilled potato production. So we may need to add another grilled potato facility. It's going to be a facility. That's what it is. It's a potato facility. Ooh, a large one. Put it right there. We can get rid of these two. Get rid of this path. Don't need it anymore, right? Small warehouse right here. This is going to be for ungrilled potatoes. It's just kind of like an overflow lot. Where's the un? There's potatoes. We're gonna demolish. Demolish you. We're gonna put a large facility in right there. We're gonna medium priority both of these. Potatoes are kind of a big deal. All the foods are big deals, but I would like to have potatoes. As we do our storage stuff. We did industrial over here. I need a food storage area. That's actually what we need. We're gonna do something. Leave that alone. We're gonna put food storage up here actual food storage so we're gonna go and it's all gonna be giant ones like this so we'll do one in from the wall one two three four. and that gives us we'll do what do we have here sunflower seeds real spatter dock carrots Grilled potatoes. And we'll do one more. This. And then we'll do. Um. Da -da -da -da. I think I did. Oh, did I do blueberries? One of these needs to be carrots. Carrots, potatoes, spatter dots, sunflower seeds, blueberries. Okay. So this is going to be where we store all of our nice amounts of food. Don't worry, I'm going to make the other stuff look pretty in a little bit. Not super worried about that right now. It's not a high priority for me. Right now the priority is the 10 days we have left in this drought. We've only made it through 9 of them. How's our water looking so far? We've barely lost any in this reservoir, which is nice because it's kept our green over here. We're doing good over here. We have six people without jobs. That means 
I only have six jobs without people. So I left this one. As long as they're bouncing between these two. Okay. Oh, we built our other one. So our water's good. We have 2,000 storage for water. That's a lot. Okay. I don't want to demolish that. I just wanted to look at it. Forgive me for my trespasses. We still have nine days left in a 20 day drought. Holy crap. Oh, they're almost done. They're almost done. They're almost done. I didn't even realize they were getting this close. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, five. I didn't realize we were that close to being done. Yes. Work, my beavers, work. Almost there. Oh wow, they're they're going at it too. There's the last ones. There it goes. Yep, and the next one goes. We do have a lot of trees, which is nice right now. Which means when this wet season hits, I'm demolishing all of this and letting it back flow into here. Ooh, this would have been a good area to have some spatter dock too. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think we're gonna need the um I don't think we're going to need this reservoir right now in this drought. We have, we have eight days left. We're still at two, so we dropped 0.68 in half, over half the drought. So I think if I demolish this and just let it... Yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on, build the last one. Build the last one. Yes, we've done it. He's done it. Now we can demolish this. We're never going to recover these logs. That's fine. This debris that's in here has been kind of annoying me. See, we're below the water line anyway, so I don't think it really matters. We're very close to being below the water line. I would love to recover these logs, but I don't think we're going to be able to. And I can't just have to do it one at a time. That's slightly nuisance. But at least the delete button works very nicely. Okay. Are there any other debris and things I need to get rid of that have just been sitting around forever and all of this? Just doing a little map cleanup. Okay, there we go. The water... Isn't really spreading backwards, but that's fine. Once it starts flowing out of our water sources, it'll go backwards and forward again. We're just holding it in. And then it'll make all of this area green, which will also be nice. But for the time being, I think that's fine. Oh, they're almost done with, uh... The... The Lido thingy. Yes, that. How is their water still overflowing? Oh, because it's... Wow, this guy's really done his job pretty well. The water is so high, it's actually flowing down to here. Very nice. We have a lot of real chestnuts. They really do pick up the pace. There we go. So let's look at our well-being. What do we got here? Hungers, get wet fur. Wet fur is a big one. Wet fur, bread. So I want to start working on blueberry pie, carrot cake, campfire, rooftop terrace, statue, shrub, scarecrow, fun. Well, they're about to have the Lido. Books, shrines, and temples. 
Okay. Well, we're doing industrial... Industrial. Industrial over here. For now. It's already got all the scrap metal that he needs, at least. I like how you can see the base of it with the scrap metal. As I come over here to start building all this stuff. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Our food. What is this? Ingredients. That's just our extra spatter dock and potatoes and chestnuts. Don't have any logs. Food's doing really well, but we're storing. Or we have too much for our storage. And I think we should do another. There's even bigger tanks. Oh no, I forgot there's even bigger ones. Underground. Capacity is 1800. So I could have 1800 logs. Because these are industrial piles, right? What can the industrial piles have? One, two, three, four, five, six things. If I built six industrial piles over here, I could have 1800 of resource. Which would be a decent amount. These, on the other hand, I would need like 30 of. Because. Uh, they only hold so much. But that'll be a nice little resource. Or a nice area for all of our resources back here eventually. And by eventually, I mean they're gonna be a medium property. We did get that house built. Got the house built. No homeless beavers on my watch. And they are building that one. This one's gonna take planks and logs. Oh, there's the water start to recede, but we only got 4.4 days left anyway, so here's seven left for you. A 19 day drought, and we barely even noticed it. The only thing that's happened over here is our roads are exposed now. We haven't lost any potatoes. Beavers are working nice and hard on things. And we've grown our reservoir by one block. Very nice. Very nice indeed. How far... I could go up one more block over here if I... Now, if I go up one more block, it's going to backflow into here. I would have to come all the way over here, build a dam right here to stop the lake from overflowing backwards. I'm not sure how I feel about that, if we're being honest. Oh yeah, it's not connected to the district because the roads aren't built yet. That's fine. The roads will be built in time, my children. Oh, they built our industrial piles. Yay. Uh, did I? Was I dumb and just didn't put a road right here? Uh, I was, in fact, just dumb and didn't build a road there. But we have plenty of storage for logs. Which means, really, I can get rid of this log storage once I delete the stuff on its roof. just have to go a little bit further now, but that's fine. Um, if we're doing that big warehouse in Spadadoc, I'm not going to do the small one over here. Food is good. Water is perfect. Happiness is at 12. They only need another 17 logs down there. We need more... What are they? Maples? Maples are the ones that gives us a lot. That's what we need more of, maples. 
And maybe once this fills up more, I'll be able to expand his ability to plant. Actually, his ability to plant has gotten larger as well. I guess that was one of the parts of the updates. So, I mean, if I came over here and I just covered this entire area with maples, and then made it a cutting cut tree area. We really wouldn't have... Yeah, there we go. We've expanded more wood production. More wood production. Let's get rid of this as a tree cutting area just because it bugs me. And at one point in time, if you had too much tree cutting area, it did line the game up. So, we're going to get rid of that part. Um, 1.4 days left in the So I'm gonna say anyway, <laughs> one more log, one more log, one more log, and they will have a Lido. Then they'll get to play in the river. Hope there's the last log. Just gotta come build it now. Yay! Come build it. Come build it. And it's the day before the wet season. Perfect time to build it. Oh, they built it! Yay, look! Look at the little beavers in the Lido! Look at him! Slow it down. Oh, he's just on his back vibing. The other one just showed up. He's just gonna tan. Here comes another one. You're five. One. Who's letting their children run in the community pool? of a 19 day drought with 0.7 days left I, I will call it the end of the drought we made it we only have about a block and a quarter worth of water which isn't too bad now down here I kind of want to start replacing these with dams hmm. so if I came over here Build my path up, right? I get up over here. And get back up here. And get all the way over here. Wonder if I can build levees all the way down right here. that would bring it up to one about the same height as this, right? What height is it at? Okay. I'm not sure. That's just a future idea, maybe. Um, nothing I'm actually going to act on just yet. In fact, protect yourself on nothing because that is all the time we have for today. Look at all the progress we've made. Look at it all. Why are they all, why are they all hungry? Uh, maybe it's because it's the end of the work day. Who knows? Um, yeah, it's the only time we have for today. Apparently, oh god, flooding. We gotta figure out this flooding issue next episode. Big time. Flooding so much. We'll figure the flooding out next episode. Thank you all for joining. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.